today is the National Heroes Day, where Zimbabweans take stock of the road it traveled from the decolonization process when it started up to 1980 when independence came. President Robert Mugabe penciled very clear issues that the families of the departed must be catered for. On the youth, he said, be careful, be very careful. The cyberspace and cyber terrorism, including the abuse of that facility, is eating and corroding our national values. The road to independence was long, arduous, and painful. The president, Comrade Robert Mugabe, said those patriots, the living and the dead, were some of our best sons and daughters who answered to the highest calling to save their country. Many traded their lives for the dear motherland. President Robert Mugabe said due to the illegal sanctions, resources flowing to the fixed gas continue to dwindle and the country cannot grow the national cake as to the people's expectations. The heroes and heroines of their children must benefit from a revolving fund. The government is to create. To marry, to know what, to love, to know what in the to show me. That is a very wide program. You could treat a, a huge fund. You pass zero. You know, Fambirana never efforts our China Masa. Where put Hadza? Nekuanda Kwakaita Zinangwa, they do my ministries essay, and it's Nangwa Zinamari. The message to the young is to be extra careful on what is happening on the internet. It is corroding the social fiber of our nation, and parents and the youths must be vigilant, extra vigilant at all times, as all the vices are thrown onto the web. <laughs> Recent events that saw Senro Harare business district so rogue elements of the uniformed forces fight it out is regrettable said president mugabe that incident or incidents when a few soldiers took to, to the streets to beat policemen is regrettable i discussed it with the commanders and asked that they talk about it and try to prevent its recurrence. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News at the National Heroes Academy.